What if I told you there's one new component, strain design, sitting right in front of me. This will cook your roast. This will cook a pizza and does a mighty fine job at it. This will cook on a hot plate, includes a camp oven, and yet it fits in a package this small and doesn't weigh a lot. Camp Cube. I've recently come across down at Mr. Buccarini's camping event. The guy there had it on display. Also, as you can see, includes a very good... <laughs> Excuse the background, <laughs> guys. <laughs> it's probably the famous Mr. Bob Asser. <laughs> and there's Rob. Guys, I'm down here camping at a place called, well it was, what's it called? How ironic. <laughs> so guys, I finally managed to own some of Crazy Dog's canvas bags. Australian canvas, heavy duty canvas, I believe it's 12 ounce built to last and built to protect all your gear. So, let's have a look at the Camp Cube. Now, the Camp Cube comes in various different configurations. You've got your basic and you also got your Explorer and then you've got your Explorer Plus accessories and then you've got an additional option above that so whatever your budget is now i won't mention the prices because the prices can vary of course but it does include some gloves we've got some stainless steel side i'll show you that shortly now what i've got here is the explorer plus accessory pack but I've also got part of the optional extra, which includes a windshield. So generally when you purchase the optional accessory that includes a windshield, you will also will get a full size grill plate, which is this size. I have didn't take that option to purchase that one, guys. I, I was gonna stick with the full frame grill now, you also get one of these ovens. Hey Steve, what are these ovens called? Who makes these? Southern Metal Spinners, guys. So you've probably heard about these. So we've got a 10 inch Southern Metal Spinner camp oven. So it's a spun steel, extremely lightweight. Now, as you're aware, some of you who have been following my channel for a while would notice I've already owned a spun steel camp oven. It's an 8-inch Uniflame. Awesome camp oven, but probably a little bit too small for this one here. I mean, it work, but there's a few options, accessories that I've got here that does need the 10-inch oven, and I'll show you that shortly. So it's been seasoned. So it's got that nice dark seasoning color on it. And last but not least, is the camp cube itself, the five pit. Now, look how light that is, guys. That's the benefit with this. When you buy this, including the basic kit, you will get a mounting 
for the Rotisseur is you need to pick up one of these gas mates Deluxe Rotisseur that runs on two double D's now I picked this up at the local Bunnings store yesterday, so I have not opened it yet. One more. This is also included in the basic kit. Is you've got a handle that retracts. So again, you can see a smart idea that is. So what it is, it's got a hook on there, so you can grab your camp oven like so, remove the heat, etc. And it's designed in such a way that you can store it inside your kit. So you don't have to store any of this separately, guys. It all fits inside that, that bag there. And of course, one of Jace's canvas bags as well. Now this one is designed. I'll show you the ex additional accessory pack that you get there. It's designed, you see it's got these extra clips in here, so you can actually clip the accessory bag on the top, so it keeps it all together. Now the Camp Cube has got folding legs. So that's it. As simple as that, that's how it's set up. Now I've picked this up a few days ago, and I've been using it at home, cooking at home, and it's been brilliant. So. I've actually seasoned it, so it is full metal, so you do got to take care of it and make sure you cover it with uh, rice bran oil. Now, so let's show you part of the kit. So, how this goes together. On the basic kit, you'll get one of these. So basically, these, just hook in the side there. Now guys, I'm out camping here, so when I go home, I'm going to show you close-up videos of these and how all this works and how all this connects together. So for now, just a quick, brief rundown, just to show you the system. Okay, so then you can put your camp oven on the top here. You can put your lid I could put that there off the side to keep your food warm, etc. So everything's off the off the ground. So now this one here, I can put this. You can notice it's got a lip around there on the inside, so it hooks up over the top of that. So guys, just whack a few charcoal, a little bit of a fire, and that's all ready to go. You can start cooking on that and quite a nice big plate as well. I believe it's 35 by 35 centimeters, so don't vouch on that 100%. I've been cooking all the meals at home on that. You can see I've seasoned it well, guys. It's well seasoned. So I cooked some eggs on that yesterday and they never stuck. So now this is the other additional part of the accessories you get. When you purchase the additional accessories, you will get another bag. So let's take out, now this is a half grill. So you can see I've got a half grill. Now that, I can place that right there and still have access to putting timber inside there. I can cook bacon on there, steak, sausages, whatever. I can put a pot on there to boil the billy. So this is very beneficial. You can mount this any way you like, and as you can see, it hooks in place, so it's not gonna slide around, it's not gonna move on you. And I love the quality. It's even got their emblem on the front here as well. Now the next component you get, right, let me show you. So this is the attachment kit for the Rotisseer, this one here that I showed you. So when you purchase this, you will get a manual, and in the manual, it does say which Rotisseer, I hope I pronounced that correctly, it does say which one to get. So it's a gas mate, and the model number, what you need to look out for is the GRT2. 
Now I picked this up for less than $40 at Bunnings yesterday. And this is the kit. So I believe it mounts some way through here. And then that rotor seer kit then mounts onto it. And it's plenty big enough guys to cook a huge chicken on there as well. Next thing I want to show you, now this is the optional accessories that I spoke about. So what we've got here is a windshield. Now there's a couple of benefits by getting the windshield. Uh, number one, it's actually made out of stainless steel, so it's going to last you no problem. So you won't need to worry about treating this with oil, it's the same as the side stand on the side here. Now there's a, quite unique, it's very clever how this is designed. Now guys, I, I will do a video and show you all this up close in more detail when I return home. But there's a unique way how you set this up. So that's one side. Once you get it guys, it is pretty simple to do really. It's not too difficult. Right, so that hooks in like so. And now this one here, just hooks in the back. And that is now pretty much all set up. You also get another little bar that goes across the center here. And what's that used for? If you want to add a hot plate on the top, and we had just stuck in the bag there. So that now clips in like so. So now I can use my half So that's my half grill. So I can sit that up here and I can sit a little fry pan or such on the top or a kettle on the top and still have access to the fire there as well. Now, if you've got the full grill, that's the only, mate, guys, I've pretty much got the full kit here apart from the full grill. If you've got the full grill, it's such design that it'll sit over all of this will cover all that and you still got accessible area at the back there to get the timber through. So, but you can also, of course, by removing this, I love the fact that they've got handles on the side here. Hey, <laughs> Steve from How FJ Camping. Very good, Steve. What do you think? Steve actually bought one of these as well and he's got his set up at the back. So this is it fully set up with the hot plate. You've got a bit of a windshield here as well, as you can see, to protect from the wind. And yeah, I think it's brilliant. And you can see, again, so very versatile, guys. And for what it is, it's very lightweight. And you know me, I don't like anything that's too heavy. I don't like anything that's, you know, it's gonna hurt me back. And this here is relatively light. I could pick that up no problem. So that's what I like about it. So believe me guys, if this was heavy, I would not have purchased it. So I'm gonna put this in action tonight again. I've been, I've been cooking it for the last two days at home. And I've come back here camping. I've cut, I've got the timber all ready to go. And tonight guys, I'm gonna have a crack at cooking a pizza. Hey, you might ask, how do you cook a pizza in here? Well, let me show you something, guys. Remove this. We'll just put this back in here. We're gonna cook the pizza inside the steel spun camp oven. And we've got an accessory, another accessory I have not showed you yet to do that. Now I haven't even opened this up guys. But while we're at the uh, latest the Mr. Buckaroonie camping event, the fundraiser that was held down in Harvey Bay at Fraser Coast RV Park. 
they had these uh, on demonstration and you've actually got there's some instructions here so I'll, I'll definitely keep that and put that aside so we've got some pizza trays here so you got three and I'm going to try this tonight so three pizza trays guys 10 inch size so you can cook up a 10 inch size pizzas Hence why you need the 10 inch camp oven for this. And it also comes with a little holder down the bottom here. See this holder? Okay. So again, made out of stainless steel, I believe. Designed, made, owned. Campcube.com.au. So that clicks in place like so. You make your pizza. You then fit your pizza in. Looks like we've got to unclip this. Put your pizza in, clip that back in place, as you can see. Grab this, your long handle, and with that, you then lower it into your hot camp oven. Bit of coals on the bottom, and a bit of charcoal or coals or uh, heat beads on the top. And anywhere between 5 to 15 minutes, depending how hot you can get your camp oven. At the Mr. Buckaroonie camping event, when I saw the demo of this, they were cooking one whole pizza every 5 minutes. Which is not bad. Not as quick as the Uni Pro, which is about a minute, minute and a half. Uh, but you'll expect that. I mean, the Uni Pro does get some really hot. This one doesn't get as hot. But hot enough, guys, to make a real good pizza. When that one's cooked, you just open it like so. Open it up, of course, use your gloves. Remove that and hand that off. And you've got your next pizza already made. That one goes in like so. Now, I'm going to attempt this tonight. So I'm going to try one pizza cooked in the steel spun pizza oven. So, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully that'll turn out real good. Okay guys, so that's what I'm going to show you for now. So I'll probably do a couple of little b-roll footages, uh, show you up close and show you all the details on it and prepare the fire and get that going ready for tonight. So it's going to be, looks like it's going to be a cool night. Oh look, look, Rob here from Hang on. Yep, let me put this away. Geez, I almost forgot then. I'm missing my memory. Rob here from Australian Camping and Four Drive YouTube yeah. channel. We'll go it's got the dough for tonight. Ready it's to got go. the dough ready to tonight. Looks good, eh? And notice he's got seven doughs there, and there's six of us here, guys. So we're sacrificing one of these to try and here for the first time. That'll be good. Now hopefully it'll turn out. <laughs> so. <laughs> So guys, if you haven't seen Rob's channel before, go check it out. Australian camping and four driving. And then of course, we've got Stephen and Annie behind me from FJ Camping and Touring. So now Stephen and Annie has also purchased one of these. So do yourself a favour and check out his channels. I believe he did some filming yesterday, so I'm not sure when he'll have his video up. Now, I seasoned all this stuff yesterday, and basically when you season these, all you do is just put a bit of rice bran oil on it, wipe a bit of rice bran oil, and bring it up to temperature, ideally around 200, 220 degrees Celsius for 20 minutes, uh, particularly the camp oven here. And what that does is just etches, burns in the oil into the material here and it leaves a black surface. If you saw the inside of this, how black it is, you think it's dirty, but that's not dirty. Same as this, see how black? And even this one too, I've actually seasoned this one as well. So you don't need to, but it will help uh, to keep the rust away. Because guys, it's made out of mild steel. And that's another thing, There's, this one here is made out of 1.6 mil steel. It's got reinforcing around the side. Reinforcing at the base I see, it's got a nice pattern. It's got the nice folding legs, which is made out of three mil ply steel. The hot plates are also made out of three mil 
uh, small steel and uh, the grill as well as a hot plate now I kind of wish I did get the full grill as well uh, that might be something I will purchase as an option later on if I get the chance to